Hello, Shakti Practice, sir. Welcome back. I'm your host and your boss of friend. I'm Muhammad Nasha. This is my third video on the documentation training. So today, uh, we are going to learn the hard work permit, how to complete the hard work permit. And okay, so first question is, what is the hard work permit? So uh, any work which may produce heat, spark, flame, that is hard work. And uh, the work can be welding work. Uh, either arc welding or the electrical welding so welding work and the grinding and the also uh, cutting silk cutting work these are the hard work okay so i will also, also send you just uh, these are the documents and uh, uh, this is a hard work permit and uh, just i'm going to do uh, and uh, just uh, i i'll speak about it how to complete this work permit how to inspection how to issue the work permit so the first point is uh, the description of work so mention here the description of work, uh, the complete work description, what kind of a work you are going to uh, do like grinding or welding or cutting, okay. And uh, so where uh, you are going to start your work, so mention here uh, which kind of work like uh, vessels, uh, weldings uh, or tank welding or any supply, pipeline sub uh, weldings, okay. Uh, so you mention here and also the, the next point is equipment to be used so mention here uh, which kind of equipment you're going to use uh, like um, if cutting so gas cutting or, or if uh, welding so arc welding or electrical welding what and uh, next point is location so mention the location uh, which uh, area or which floor of building you are going to uh, start your work hard work so mention here uh, because uh, uh, as per area uh, i also uh, uh, said in the last video uh, so if area change location change so hazard also change so check it or not whether it is a height or uh, on the surface you are going to start your hard work then next point permit valid for uh, mention the time and the date so obviously uh, maximum we issue the permit uh, for the one shift it is the uh, eight hours maximum and after if the work continue after eight hours so you have to reissue the work permit after checking all and okay uh, so the time and the time the also mention the time and the duration so now the next uh, point we just uh, find out the special considerations so in special consideration we find out hazard present so we have a few hazard in mention here uh, and the front of that one column again that, that is if hazard present so mention here yes or no and after that if yes so are you going to remove or control so mention here okay so first hazard combustible solid so uh, before issuing the work permit, safety officer or safety practitioner must uh, inspect the uh, working area whether uh, the combustible materials is available or not. Uh, like uh, combustible material means uh, like uh, wooden log and uh, paper, uh, some cotton, uh, like uh, and uh, plastic, leather, uh, even clothes. If uh, they are, uh, you can uh, just if if you just uh, find out these things, just remove. Uh, and control the all things and the next flammable liquids flammable liquids so if you find flammable liquids like uh, on the working side uh, like diesel petrol kerosene engine oil thinner grease you may find out paint so just uh, uh, if you find just mention yes if it is uh, no so mention no and uh, if uh, yes then uh, are you going to remove or control so remove controls uh, you can just control with the uh, this uh, placing uh, that uh, just change your working area or change the, the storage area okay and place these uh, flammable liquid to another place and with the safe in the safe area okay or you may use uh, also the fire screen here uh, the next point flammable toxic gases or vapor so uh, if you just uh, find obviously in the during the welding you may find that the toxic gases that is uh, co2 carbon dioxide so uh, for the protection of that just use the respiratory system okay and the next point is confined space so are you going to the hard work in a confined space or where so confined space uh, definition is that any uh, work uh, locations area is not designed for the uh, living and uh, it can be uh, uh, very uh, just like it can be tough to do work there and uh, like uh, excavations trench 
and uh, vessels tank these are the confined space so very risky and you may encounter also a few uh, gases there so just uh, check it out first and then if it is confined space so obviously uh, with the work of uh, I mean like uh, if you just uh, going for hard work so uh, during the hard work also uh, there will be a, a spark and a flame so definitely uh, you may just first remove that uh, condition of uh, hazardous like uh, if you just find out gases flammable gases just remove first and then start the work and for the safety officer first check uh, this availability of the gas and then issue the permit and work at height also if uh, um, you are going uh, to that hard work on the height so uh, you have to first uh, issue that uh, hard work permit and also for the height work you have to another work permit uh, follow the work on the height work permit also so hard work on um, on the height so you have you are also you should also just uh, make precaution for the height uh, risk and simultaneously with the hard work risk and next point pressure pipes vessels discharge and vented so if you are going to uh, hard work in the vessels or for the pipes so you just uh, mention there yes and no and uh, so before starting our work you just uh, need to dis uh, continue the supply of that uh, pipelines and then start the work conduction of heat and spark of course uh, during the hard work you may just uh, find you may find the heat and spark also so we can uh, control the this spark and heat uh, with the fire screen and now next point that is uh, in a column the state and additional precautions so these are the few hazard mentioned in the already mentioned in the workman now you have to also find out the uh, that uh, any other things like any other hazard or if you want to mention any other precautions so there is a here column you need to just mention here or uh, like um, in this column uh, in this uh, we uh, do not find any kind of this uh, required pps for the hard work and the uh, like uh, if you just uh, want to start the hard work you have to uh, just uh, associate with the fire extinguisher uh, and uh, uh, fire some uh, i mean fire points uh, so it is very helpful and actually it is required for the starting of work uh, hard work so mention there if uh, you do not find the fire extinguisher proper fire extinguisher just mention here if you do not find the proper and required pps uh, of the workers to mention here and if you want uh, to just uh, before starting our work so to us isolate that the supply of the uh, liquid chemicals so just stop and disconnect the supply then after that you start the uh, your hard work <coughs> and uh, next uh, the column is authorization before work start so of course here is uh, the authorization means the issuer uh, need to sign here and uh, thus with the it is safety officer manager and uh, uh, it can be an engineer also and then now the another column is for the acceptor so who accept the work permit those uh, write down the name and the sign and the date also and uh, one thing uh, very essential uh, asked to uh, uh, for the safety officer asked to the uh, acceptor uh, they are are they asking for the eight hours uh, the permit or uh, mention the hours uh, for the permission the permissible hours and uh, after the uh, after the finishing of that hours just cancel the work permit is very essential to do not continue the uh, this particular work permit after the permissible hours if you just want to continue your work then uh, reissue the work permit okay uh, so again thank you for the your patience and uh, if you want uh, uh, something uh, some new videos and uh, any uh, new uh, news video or uh, some uh, any other topics just mention and uh, uh, mention our website our in our mail okay and uh, so i will try to just uh, conduct that training and if you just have any kind of questions feedback just mail it the mail id is that go dot dynamic skill at the rate of gmail.com and if you want to visit our Facebook, so we have the Facebook profile. And if you want to just send it message uh, in the our website, that is www.dynamicscaledev.com. So thank you once again.